Have you ever been to Alton Towers, turned up to the entrance of a ride and thought, there's no way I'm waiting that long to ride the Smiler? No. Well, today I'm going to be telling you the best way to avoid long queues to get on as many rides as you can at the Alton Towers Resort. Just before the video starts, make sure to like and subscribe. If we can hit 30 likes on this video, I'll do a Fort Park part. So, as many of you may know, there is a 15 minute walk from the car park to the park's entrance, which feels like you're climbing a mountain. However, there is a monorail but the queue can sometimes get really long and take ages and sometimes the monorail doesn't even run. So I'd always suggest getting to the park early and getting there for around 9.15 to 9.30. The earlier, the better, as sometimes they open up the gates early and let you in. Now, depending upon what ride you want to go on first, it's completely up to you. However, most people will just rush to the Smiler and the Wicker Man and you'll find yourself getting caught up in many queues and in a massive crowd of people doing the same thing as you. So to avoid these massive crowds, I'd always suggest starting in Forbidden Valley or Dark Forest. It's up to you which one you just want to start at. Forbidden Valley has Nemesis and Galactica, Dark Forest has Rita and 13. Personally, I always start at Forbidden Valley as Nemesis and Galactica always both have zero minutes and I always do a couple of re-rides on Nemesis. And then what I tend to do is I get the Sky Ride from Forbidden Valley to Dark Forest and then I do the rides on Rita and 13. Then hopefully if the Smiler queue has gone down, I'll then go on the Smiler. However, if you also stay in the hotel, there is actually a hotel entrance as well. So it's just around the back of Galactica where the car park is. So you get let in behind Galactica, so you can pretty much have the whole of Forbidden Valley to yourself and the other hotel guests. It's definitely worth it and you don't have to make that massive trip to the front of the park and it's really useful for anyone staying in the hotel. Another suggestion is to have your lunch earlier rather than later. The reason I say this is because everyone usually tends to get food at around the same time, about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock-ish. So the best options are either to bring a packed lunch or buy food earlier. If you bring a packed lunch, always eat it in the queue line. It will save you loads of time and rather than sitting outside where there's no going to be no seats and you know you can do it whilst you're queuing to save that time whereas if you're buying food always have it earlier because most people will be queuing for food at the same time i've sometimes queued 20 minutes just to get a kebab from that eastern place great it's a great place just to save some time for yourself and so you can get as many rides in as possible you'll also notice when it is lunchtime there's going to be more people eating rather than being in the queue line so make sure to go into the queue line these times because it can be less queues smaller queues and hopefully you should be able to get some more rides than most people are doing that. Some rides also have a single rider queue, so make sure to utilise these where you can. It will save you lots of time because not too many people know about the single rider queues. I believe Smiler and Smimble Wizard have them, I'm not too sure. I know some of them do, so make sure to check before you do go into them. The other suggestion I have for you is to just go into the queue line. If it's 90 minutes, just go in. You're going to be wasting more time just walking around the park doing absolutely nothing. So if you queue for it, just... If you think so if you think the queue is just too big just go for it it won't be too much it might even be less than what is advertised but trust me you won't regret it because you'll have a great ride on that ride in particular um, if you really don't want to then maybe go and buy fast track but it's completely up to you um, there is also no particular order that will save you loads of time but these tips should help you get on more rides and you know make you have a better day the likes of nemesis for, uh, later on in the day will have 50 40 minute queues so getting there early into forbidden valley and dark forest will definitely save you lots of time rita doesn't have the greatest throughput so it 100 percent will save you time on all of them rides so yeah thanks for watching this video let me know what your order of riding all the coasters are at alton towers and what your favorite coaster is there if you've made it this far make sure to comment the word exodus and i've been theme pop folk thanks for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye